Did you know that over 90% of Nvidia Shield Pro owners are missing out on settings that could turn this little box into an absolute monster? It's like owning a sports car and never taking it out of first gear. The Shield can already stream crisp 4K HDR, smash through 120 frames per second gameplay, and pump out Dolby Atmos that could make your neighbor's pictures fall off the wall. But most people never tap into that full potential. Not you though, stick with me because in the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how to make your Shield 2025 ready. And no, we're not talking about boring update your firmware. We're going deeper. Let's start under the hood, and don't worry, you won't need a wrench. First, if you haven't already, we need to unlock developer options. Go to your settings, then device preferences, and then about. Scroll down until you find build and click on it seven times. you'll see a message that says you are now a developer. Now go back to the device preferences menu and a new option called developer options will appear at the bottom. Go into that menu and scroll all the way down to find window animation scale, transition animation scale and animator duration scale. We're going to drop all three of these scales from one down to 0.5. You won't lose any picture quality, but suddenly your menus will feel like they've been hitting the espresso pretty hard. Next, we're going to give your Shields RAM some breathing room. While you're still in developer options, find the apps section, which is pretty far down the menu, so just keep going, and tap on background process limit. Choose at most two processes for the fastest fuel, or at most three processes, which is safer for multitasking. And suddenly, the apps you actually use get VIP treatment instead of waiting in line. For display, go back to your device preferences menu and head to display and sound. Make sure your resolution is set to the maximum your TV can handle. This ensures your refresh rate is set to a higher frequency, such as 60 Hz, if your TV supports it. While you're there, fine-tune that AI upscaling to one of the higher settings, so your old HD content looks dangerously close to native 4K. And yes, it's time for a bit of spring cleaning. From your home screen, go to your app list and get rid of anything you haven't touched in months. Your shield will thank you and so will your sanity. Now for the fun part, making your shield feel like it just got a supercharged hardware upgrade. But first, a quick question for you. Do you mostly use your Shield for gaming or streaming? Let me know in the comments so I know what to focus on in future videos. If you're a gamer, you'll want to make sure your Shield is operating at peak performance. Go to Settings, Device Preferences, System, and set your processor mode to max performance. To prevent overheating, also set the fan mode to cool in the same menu. Now for streaming, your connection is everything. Ethernet will always be Wi-Fi, but you can still improve your connection by changing your DNS. Now this sounds technical, but it's basically like swapping your phone book for a faster one. It can help reduce buffering 
and lower your ping for a smoother online gaming experience. To do this, go to Settings, Network, then select the Wi-Fi or Ethernet you're currently connected to. Tap IP settings and change it to static. Leave your IP address and gateway address as it is and set the network prefix length to 24 if it isn't already. Then in the DNS1 field, delete what's currently there and type in 1.1.1.1 for Cloudflare or 8.8.8.8 .8 for Google. Then on the final screen, type 1.0.0.1 for Cloudflare or 8.8.4.4 for Google. And for my home theatre people, enabling audio pass-through is pure magic. That means Dolby Atmos and DTS-X head straight to your sound system without being squished by compression. Your movies won't just look cinematic, they'll sound cinematic. To make sure your shield is sending the best audio, you need to enable it in the settings. Here's how. From the home screen, go to Settings, Device Preferences, and select Display and Sound. Scroll down to Advanced Sound Settings, Then toggle the USB surround sound option to on to allow your sound system to receive the uncompressed audio signal. When that helicopter flies overhead in a movie, you'll actually feel it sweeping across your room instead of just hearing a flat sound. While this system-wide setting is important, some apps like Kodi or Plex also have their own audio pass-through settings. For the best experience, you'll want to make sure the pass-through settings in your apps are also enabled. This ensures your shield is sending the full, uncompressed audio stream directly to your soundbar or receiver. An optimised shield today is great, but a well-maintained shield is even better. While your device handles most updates automatically, a simple reboot is your best friend. Giving your shield a fresh start every now and then is a quick, easy way to keep performance smooth and resolve any minor slowdowns. Looking ahead, rumours say we could see new features and accessories for the shield later this year. Staying informed means you'll be ready to jump on these upgrades the moment they drop. And just like that, you've joined the elite 10% who know how to unleash the full NVIDIA Shield Pro experience. Which upgrade are you going to try first? Drop it in the comments, I actually do read them. If you love tips that make your tech better without spending a fortune, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll see you in the next one.